How's it going everyone? In this video I want to go over a plethora of PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 game updates. Horizon Forbidden West has gotten a brand new trailer and we have a behind the scenes video as well in the Meet the Cast video that's up on the PlayStation's official YouTube uh, channel. Uh, Ghostwire Tokyo seemingly has a release date and it's sooner than I had expected. We'll talk about that. Kogan Sword of Rewind is getting a physical edition and pre-orders are opening January 25th. Might be something you want to be on the lookout for. And Deadly Dozen Reloaded has been announced for PS4. For Xbox One, Switch, and PC. That'll be dropping pretty soon as well. More on that at the end of this video, but first up, Horizon Forbidden West has gotten a brand new trailer in the story trailer. It's about two and a half to three minutes long, and it showcases obviously some story beats to the game. It looks like a lot of emphasis is once again put on the narrative, and while Horizon has a lot of you know, recognition for its open world and its gameplay and everything like that. Horizon Zero Dawn had a tremendous, tremendous narrative with a lot of backstory and how they decide to develop the Horizon story going forward is something I'm very interested in. And obviously we have that VR game coming as well. So that could add a little bit to the story on top of what Forbidden West is going to do. But expect this to be another incredibly story driven game. And I would actually uh, recommend that some people replay Horizon Zero Dawn because that game came out all the way back Back in early 2017 so I don't know how fresh the story is to some of you guys I'm definitely gonna be checking the game out um, I'm gonna be replaying the game again and I just beat Horizon Zero Dawn early last year mid last year um, and I'm gonna go back and play it again right before the launch of Forbidden West I might I'm probably not gonna do everything in the game again of course but I am gonna do it as a story refresher and I think uh, that's a pretty good idea because that that game had so many layers to its story and if you really wanted to do everything you got a lot out of the game in terms of a narrative and I think Forbidden West is going to offer us something similar. Again, Horizon Forbidden West is dropping on February 18th. There is also a Meet the Cast video which you can check that out if you want. You got some, you know, interviews with the voice actors and everything like that. That's a pretty good video as well. It's about seven and a half minutes long so a little bit on the lengthier side but I'll leave a link to that in the description box as well. Things are falling apart. I don't know if I can find a way forward. Like Elizabeth did. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Moving on from that, PlayStation Store is listing Ghostwire Tokyo for a March 24th release. This is a lot sooner than I had expected. The game was initially announced for a spring 2022 uh, release window, so March 24th does align with that, but spring starts on March 21st, so whenever I hear like a spring window or a summer window or something like that, usually I expect it to be the latter portion of that season, but in this case, if it is March 24th, that is right around the corner, and it looks like it will be dropping very soon. Of course, Ghostwire Tokyo is a game from Bethesda, and it is a uh, PlayStation 5 console exclusive. It'll be on PlayStation 5 and PC, and it'll be, I believe, a time exclusive. The game notes, Tokyo is overrun by deadly supernatural forces perpet uh, perpetrated by dangerous occultists, causing Tokyo's population to vanish in an instant. Ally with a powerful spectral entity on their quest for vengeance and master uh, a powerful arsenal of abilities to unravel the dark truth behind the disappearance as you face the unknown in Ghostwire Tokyo. Of course, this game is done by Tengo Gameworks, the same guys that brought you the evil within. And while it is a Bethesda published game, Bethesda, of course, owned by Microsoft at this point. They are, of course, honoring the exclusivity contracts that Sony had already gotten, and Ghostwire Tokyo is one of those games. So it'll be coming as a PS5 console exclusive. It will also be available on PC, and ultimately, I would imagine an Xbox Series X and S release would be happening sometime probably in 2023, or maybe even uh, six months after the release of this game. But interested in this game, you know, the initial trailer had me a little bit more excited for Ghostwire Tokyo than I am now, but overall, Tango Gamer 
Filmworks is an incredibly talented studio, and I imagine they're gonna deliver something solid with Ghostwire Tokyo. Alright, next up, I do want to note that Kogan Sword of Rewind will be getting a physical edition, and pre-orders will be opening up on January 25th. This is coming from Limited Run Games. This is a game that I am excited for, and I've been mentioning it a little bit more. If you're a fan of 2D action platformers, like Mega Man style games, this is something that should be on your radar. It's got a very old-school look and old-school design going on for it, but... Game looks solid, and there is also a double pack that'll be including both Gunvolt Chronicles uh, Luminous Avenger 9-2 uh, and Kogan Sword of Rewind. Gunvolt Chronicles Luminous Avenger will be available as a separate purchase as well, and Kogan Sword of Rewind is due out for Xbox Series, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC on January the 27th, so... Very excited for that one. It'll be coming out a week from today. And again, if you're a fan of action platformers, one that I think will end up being pretty good. Lastly, I do want to note Deadly Dozen Reloaded has been announced for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC due out this spring coming from publisher Ziggurat Interactive and developer Enfusion Interactive. The game is noted to be a complete remake of the original squad-based third-person shooter made in a new engine with upgraded maps, graphics, and missions reloaded takes this classic franchise and brings it to modern audiences with a bang. The game notes massive graphical overhaul for every asset, texture, and level in the game. Upgraded controls to support modern FPS players on all platforms. Drivable military vehicles will get you out of the enemy's lair fast, and each expansive map is filled with enemies, cars, buildings, mines, and more for a fuller experience. Sneak your way across 10 different maps populated with more enemies, more buildings, and more objects for you to blow sky high. Challenge yourself to replay levels with a different crew or weapon to load out to secure those shiny new completion trophies, upgraded graphics, textures, and all that good stuff. The game is scheduled for a release sometime this spring. No official release date is had at this point, but uh, should be coming out relatively soon. And that's gonna do it for me again. Horizon Forbidden West, a brand new story trailer for that game. Go check that out. And that game is right around the corner. February 18, less than a month away, around four weeks away until the release of Horizon Forbidden West. The story trailer was quite good, and then if you do want more information, you could also check out the Meet the Cast video, and I like that video quite a bit as well. That's a little bit longer again at seven and a half minutes. The PlayStation Store is listing Ghostwire Tokyo for a March 24th release date. We'll see if that holds true. Kogan Sword of Rewind will be getting a physical edition pre-order, and that'll be opening up on January 25th. A double pack again with Luminous Avenger will be available on top of that. And Deadly Dozen Reloaded announced for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. That'll be out uh, sometime this this spring with no official release date at this point. That's gonna do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.